rolling. Good afternoon, folks. This is Kimberly Jesse reporting in live from Hollywood, California at none other than Butterfly Confessions. And I'm really excited about this play who's being uh, executive produced by Yetta Young. And it raises awareness around HIV and domestic violence issues. And I'm really super excited to be standing here next to none other than television veteran and movie veteran, Anna Maria Horace Ford. And as you guys will probably remember her the most as Craig's Mom from Friday, the beautiful Anna Maria. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. But let me say, Yetta is not only, um, she didn't only conceive this, she directed it and wrote many of the pieces. So we have multi talent here. Yes. All right. I just want to make that clear. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, and a very determined woman. Let me tell you how I got here. She's been calling me for the last five or six years. She did my makeup one day. And she said, oh, I also produce. And she called me because she wanted to do the vagina monologues. And I really wanted to do something with our voice, yes. the black voice, because black women are very silent. We don't really air our laundry. And when she called to say she had conceived this and wrote this and... I said, wow, it's about time, because we had talked about it for years. Um, I said, we have to do something. We have to put our stamp on it, because there are things that we experience that are very unique yes. to us in our community, very unique to us. And I think that when we open up our mouths and start talking, a lot of the sickness, the sicknesses that we attract will mm -hmm. go away. This is great because you know what? It's very true. A lot of the issues that we go through in the community are not necessarily addressed in a public way. No. We're very much taught to what happens in the home, what happens in the community, stay in the community. And not and only that, yeah, our religion has stopped us the, many times. It was supposed to empower, and mm -hmm. it does many times, but a lot of times prayer always helps. Yes. But prayer with discussion is even more powerful yes. because then you see you're not the only person in the world experiencing that. And I have to say that she has done a wonderful job bringing so many subjects to light, from rape to molestation to love, wow. to what it is to commit to a 30 or 40 year relationship. And even time in the beauty parlor. Oh. I mean, she, <laughs> she has covered the ground. Yes. So I want to say hats off, wigs off. Yes. Your sister, your time. Yes. 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 yes, yes, I can't talk to you. Yes, and I think that's that brings us again. And then anything, when you get a chance to work with other women, yeah. um, it's six of us, I believe, here. Um, I think it's glorious, glorious, because I'm seeing some women that I've seen on stage and never worked with before, but I'm working with them now. Wow. So we now have an experience. We can say we work together on this subject. And a very intimate experience at that. Very intimate. But anytime you act, it's intimate. Yeah. I tell you the truth, because we learn things about each other, mm -hmm. about our sense of humor, our strength. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. And we have a lot to find out about each other. We say, you know, there's a sisterhood, but sometimes the sisterhood doesn't happen because mm -hmm. we're taught mm -hmm. we're in competition, yes. the young is better than the yes. old. Yes. Sometimes you get together and say, oh, what I have to give you is something that you need. And I think we need our love of self, and we get that from working with people. And what part of yourself are you leaving with your audience? I'm leaving my entire self. I have nothing for me. I have nothing for me. I gave it all away. In fact, I'm a victim to that last monologue. I have given until there is no more. I don't even know what I look like anymore. You know, but I'm glad I'm working with Roz again because it's yeah. been a few years since we've been together on stage. I mean, we've always been in touch because that was the wonderful thing about Amen, yeah. which is the first job I had out here in Hollywood. And people would say when we were actually doing it, they said, oh, it's so amazing you all like each other. And we didn't know that that was special. So we realized we not only liked each other, we loved each other. Wow. We really did. And we are still, I mean, if you can become friends from a work situation and we're all still together, all of us are still together, except the one who went above, you know, Jester Hairston. But... 
That's the joy about show business. It's really an interesting, strange business. Well, you know what? We're taking show business and we're taking intimate issues and we're bringing it to the public. And mm -hmm. that's simply power. Oh, you are too much. <laughs> Look at her. She is the cutest little thing I've seen. Okay, yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna Maria, for being with us today. We thank Yetta Young. We thank Roz. We thank the whole cast and crew from uh, the Butterfly Confession. Yes, and come out to see it yes. whenever we come to your town. Yes. It's a traveling show. Yes. Yes. yes, traveling show. And your next stop? Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama, we're on our way. Yes, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We we so appreciate you being with us here. We just we uh, we appreciate the opportunity. This is Kimberly Jesse signing off from from Hollywood, California today with Anna Maria from Butterfly Confessions. Thank you, folks. She's so